Today, we're diving into some concerning price glitches and their implications for AMC and GME. We'll break down recent anomalies, the status of Citadel, and how these issues are affecting the market. Hey, welcome to AMC Daily. If you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe to the channel and turn on post notifications by hitting the bell so you never miss any of our uploads and also enter our giveaway. But everyone remember this is not a financial advice video. Recently, we've seen a resurgence of price glitches in the stock market, and they're making headlines again. According to Josh's latest tweet, there's been some confusion surrounding the price of GME. On Friday, the NYSE reported GME's price as $32.09. However, many brokers are displaying a lower average price of $30 if you purchase shares on that day. These discrepancies indicate that price glitches are back and could stir up some hype for the coming week. To illustrate this, GME closed last Friday at $23.42, but for some investors, their purchase history shows an average price of $30.51, while others see $32.09. This disparity between the actual traded price and what's recorded for some buyers suggests that there are inconsistencies in how shares are priced and reported. This could be an attempt by firms to obscure the true market price or avoid exposing their transactions. On another note, the updated squeeze price for MC is now set at $2,931.68. This figure is crucial as it represents the floor price for MC, indicating the lowest price that could be expected. Historically, AMC shares have experienced some extreme pricing, with records showing significant values in 2022. For instance, there was a notable screenshot of an AMC trade showing 400 shares priced at $142,000. Regardless of whether it's $140.20 or $142, the value is exceptionally high compared to usual trading prices. Given the numerous factors influencing AMC, including the creation of synthetic shares, naked shorts, and other market manipulations, the current squeeze price reflects the ongoing volatility and potential for significant price movements. Adam Aaron, CEO of AMC, has previously mentioned a potential squeeze price of $345 before the split and $350 after the split. This context helps explain why the current minimum squeeze price for AMC is set so high. Now, let's turn our attention to Citadel and its financial position. According to a tweet from Biotech Moose, Citadel has pledged its debt against its total assets, effectively doubling down on its high-risk positions. This move is part of a broader strategy where short sellers, like Citadel, use their existing assets as collateral to borrow more money and cover failing positions. Citadel's approach to avoiding default involves master netting agreements with Bank of America Securities. Essentially, these agreements allow firms to offset their mutual debts. So if Citadel owes $400 but is owed $200 by Bank of America, the net amount owed is $200. This strategy helps manage their financial obligations, but can also mask underlying issues. Travis's tweet reveals that a substantial portion of Citadel's clearing and financing activities are conducted with Bank of America. However, Bank of America is currently facing its own challenges. Recent financial statements show a decrease in net income by $2 billion year over year for the first half of 2024. Additionally, net interest income dropped by $872 million over the same period, while total liabilities surged by $75.6 billion in the first quarter of 2024. This rising liability coupled with decreasing net interest income indicates a troubling financial situation for Bank of America. Their ability to support firms like Citadel is diminishing, which could have ripple effects throughout the market. The financial strain on both Citadel and Bank of America highlights a broader issue affecting short sellers. As prime lenders face difficulties, the ability to sustain and cover short positions becomes increasingly precarious. If these institutions struggle to manage their debts and obligations, they may be forced to liquidate assets to address accounting gaps and financial shortfalls. On a more positive note, August has shown impressive recovery in the box office rebounding to levels comparable to 2023. This resurgence is crucial for MC, as a stronger box office performance translates into increased revenue. With higher box office numbers, AMC's profitability is poised to grow, not just from ticket sales, but also from concessions and merchandise. 
AMP's recovery and potential future growth are significant. If the MC continues to improve its box office performance and ramp up production, the company's overall financial health and stock performance could see a substantial boost. One important factor influencing both banks and short sellers is the current state of consumer savings. The savings rate is at its second lowest level since the end of the key era, reflecting broader economic struggles. Low savings and high inflation contribute to a challenging environment for banks, affecting their performance and ability to lend. In summary, the reappearance of price glitches, the updated squeeze prices for MC, and the financial struggles of key institutions like Citadel and Bank of America are all interconnected. These factors create a volatile market environment that impacts both stocks and broader financial systems. As we navigate these developments, it's crucial to stay informed and understand the implications for both individual investments and the overall market. Guys, that's all we have for you today. What is your opinion about a MC stock? Get involved and let us know in the comments down below. Thank you for watching.